Hello everybody. I'm making this video outside in my backyard because everybody is making too much noise in, in the house. Anyway, so today I want to show you uh, these plants that are uh, in spike. This one is my Odontocidium wildcat green valley. I was not expecting it to start spike until spring but as you can see I have it there I was about to repot it because this pseudobulb it was hanging out of the original pot which is a very small uh, pot that uh, I didn't repot it because uh, I didn't want to lose the spike so what I did is I just put it inside another pot as you can see here is the other pot, uh, the original pot, and I just uh, fill it up with uh, bark mix. Probably I should have used uh, sphagnum moss to to give it more moisture, but I don't know. Uh, this guy has a lot of roots outside the, the uh, little pot. That's why I decided to. Uh, Put it inside this other one, and uh, I'm going to repot it properly when it finished blooming. And uh, because this plant is, it's a very, very pretty showstopper uh, orchid. I didn't want to lose the blooms. Anyway, this is one of my dendrobiums that I showed you recently and it had uh, three blooming spikes actually had four but I had to cut him I had to cut him because they were uh, wilting and uh, I left this other one but I don't think it's gonna make it like the other ones probably it's going to die anyway so it's uh, one of my uh, the orchids that I want uh, at the Orchid Society meeting, uh, the one dollar raffles, and it's growing in this media that it's uh, like rocks, uh, supposed to be clay, but I don't know, it looks just like little pebbles. And um, the original owner uh, has them growing in a greenhouse, so they have plenty of moisture there. And in the house, I don't know how much. I have to water so uh, I already reported the purple one and uh, fortunately there was not much trouble with the uh, roots but it seems like they were not getting enough water uh, probably this media dries up really fast and uh, yeah and I also wanted to show you the new uh, blooming spikes that I got from the same plant so I cut the old ones that were about to die and I just put them in water I, I, I don't think it, they're gonna make it but uh, yeah I got these other two blooming spikes that are growing in the uh, conditions that I can offer to these plants so uh, hopefully they're going to make it and I also want to show you this other plant, this other orchid. This one, it's a uh, Cattleya um, hybrid. It's actually a um, Cattleya tonia. I think that's how they call it. And um, it has to. Um, blooming spikes as you can see here I have two flower buds and another one here it actually blooms twice a year and this year gave me this uh, this pseudobulb or however you call it in, on a cattleya and um, it had a sheath and uh, back in April and I thought it was going to bloom because last year bloomed around my birthday 
and but the sheet dried up and I was really sad because I didn't see any flowers so I waited for the next uh, growth and I have this one and almost like last year is almost the same time like last year it's going to bloom but what I wanted to say is that I always cut the old blooming spikes or sheaths but this is an old sheath so uh, attention if you see a sheath and it's not and it doesn't get a I'm sorry if you don't get any flowers don't cut the old sheath because probably it's going to give you flowers later <laughs> later in the season or over the year and and that's what it happened only one flower but hey better than nothing that's what I think anyway so those are my my three plants that are in spike right now and well also I have the uh, little dendrobium that it's in spike that I didn't bring outside today but I also want to show you this little plant this is a um, carnivorous plant it's a uh, butterwort uh, pinguicula, <laughs> pinguicula or pinguicula whatever and it has this little flower I thought it was going to be white but it's kind of purplish lavender something like that and it also has another flower coming here and uh, that's all the thing the other thing I'm growing in the house I have also a um, Venus flytrap that is not blooming right now but I thought it was a cute flower just something different to show you anyway that's my update today and uh, well let's hope that I get really nice blooms from this odontocidium and I'll talk to you later guys thanks for watching